Excuse me. Would you like to go out with me? Um, I'm into smart guys. Do you go to school? School? Yes. I go to University of Toronto. Where'd you go? University of Toronto. Well, maybe I'll see you around. I'm always at Robarts Library, like, every day. Every day? Every day. I will see you. Okay, see you around. Robarts Library. See you there. Hello, I need a computer. What kind of computer? Twenty dollars. That's gonna get you not very far. I just need something to look good with. Okay, well, for twenty dollars, all I have is a 2007 netbook that doesn't work. I'll take it. Ah, oh, entropy is so confusing. This question just doesn't make sense. How can there be a positive relationship between order and disorder in any system? Shouldn't it be the opposite, like... Hello! Oh, hey. I'm just here to study my mathematics homework. You're a mathematics major? Yes. That's cool. Do you have John Mighton? My ex-boyfriend had him for manifolds and differential forms. He said he's amazing. Yes. He's quite famous. Yes. Well, we're studying organic chemistry. I think it's challenging. It might not be nonlinear dynamics and chaos, but it actually gets pretty confusing. Yes. You math majors have the real hardest classes, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. I want to be a doctor. Yeah. And natural science is difficult sometimes, but the kind of stuff that you and like my ex-boyfriend have to study is just remarkably onerous. Yes. Well, we'll let you get back to your work. Thank you. I think it's the Lewis structure. No, it can't be, Aaron. If it pertains to information about 3D geometry, it has to be a Fisher projection. But the state of the molecule has a staggered structure. Then it's a Newman projection. Hmm. Socrates, Einstein, or Thomas Edison. Hmm. Edison. Yep. Yeah, maybe it's a Newman projection. Yeah, Aaron, it's what it is. Hmm. Sound waves, the speed of light, or Newman projection. Sound waves. What are you studying? Oh, this is just a test. Okay, Aaron, we need to review nuclear magnetic resonance. I'm, like, so bad there. Oh, spectros spectroscopy in general is a breeze if you review the TA handouts. Trust me, it makes everything so easy to understand. Oh, I better check them. Ah, 50 out of 50. But I missed the extra credit. Well, at least you got 100. Yeah, but I could have nailed it if I knew it was on there. Oh, you didn't see it? That's too bad. I went too fast. That's too bad. Yeah. What was the question? The question? Yeah. It was math. Sounded like it was a bit of everything. Yeah, well, it was everything. Okay. Yeah. Your computer looks in pretty rough shape. I dropped it. Is it even on right now? It just turned off. Damn it. Weird. Yeah. So listen, I have lots of homework tonight. But if you want to go out with me, maybe I'll just do it later. I would love to take you to Wayne Gretzky's for ribs and salad. Hmm. Or maybe we can just get hot dogs and walk around. Huh? I have an orgo test in three days. I have a mathematics test tomorrow. So you should probably study. Maybe we should study together. But we're in different fields. Maybe we should join them. I don't think you're who you say you are. Why's that? Uh, the embossed stamp on your computer says property of Heathwood Assisted Living. 
I worked there. You worked there. You work a lot of jobs, and you use your computers for school. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's 47 plus 18? 64. I think you should leave. Not if you work in binomials, bitch. What? That's right. I'm not wrong. You're just not on my level. I guess I'll have to take someone else to Wayne Gretzky's tonight. Someone who understands binomial mathematics. Peace. Bye. She bought it.